hey, <laughs> I got a hood on today. Oh, I am just like exhausted, even though it's Saturday and I got to sleep in a little bit. Um, I did still wake up at like seven, but I don't know. It's like when you wake up, you know what I mean? So anyways, um, as promised, I'm going to show you a little project I've been working on. I did a little bit yesterday, but the majority of it I did today. I got this idea from Miss Lakin. I'm going to put her YouTube channel down below on one of her recent vlogs. She does like, when she vlogs, like I do like daily vlogs, so like upload them every day. But she does like a weekly vlog and sometimes like a weekend vlog, I think. So I do watch her vlogs once in a while when I can. Her vlogs are a little bit longer form so um, it's just something I like to have on in the background you know kind of works that way so anyway I'm gonna leave her YouTube channel down below you guys should check her out she also does like planning and goal setting and things like that too and I've met her several times in the planner community and you know we're internet friends one of her vlogs I think it was like two weeks ago it was when she made the temporary move to Texas so she lives in New York City and um, her dad like her I think it's her dad's family um, lives down in Texas and they have a larger home and her and her fiance just needed to get out of New York City and both of their jobs are clearly remote right now due to the pandemic so they just decided to go there for probably just the summer, but who knows? They might be there longer. Who who knows? I think everything is kind of like up in the air at this moment. But anyway, she was showing how she stored or like brought some of her washi. And I'm like, girl, I need to do that. Um, she said that she took like her washi samples, which let me show you. Like here is a washi sample, um, like on a bobbin. Real easy. However... I'm, I'm gonna turn you guys around. P.S. This is my dinner. <laughs> um, so when you have your washi samples, like, it just, it, it like, it's kind of a lot. You know what I mean? I have them kind of like, this was my colorful stuff, which I already wrapped. And then I have, like, all different categories. So here's, like, my animal stuff, all my decorative. I've got food. This is not food, but whatever. Like, it's my food category, and I start, like, my Christmas holiday category. And I've got another full one of these um, as well. If you're interested, it's right down there. So anyway, and then I've got, like, a bunch of random washi right there. It's, like, a whole mess. So what I decided to do was this is all inspired by Miss Lakin. And um, I decided to do everything in, like, rainbow order. So if I want, like, a green washi, I can pull this out. You know what I mean? Like, there's the green card, and that's what I got. So, yeah. And I did all my glitters. So all of my, like, glitter washi um, moved all of those over. So... Yeah, I know. I don't know. I really like I like this a lot. It's just really easy, especially if you're just looking for like a lavender or something. Like you can just grab the lavender card and see what you got. Um, Doyle, you're gross. And then I had a couple of these mixed in, which were kind of like a yeah, that like bandana print, and I just I didn't feel like it went like with any of these so I made them their own cards so here's like the neutral one like the white and black and then the other one is like red blue and navy so um, just because they didn't all fit on one card you know um, I will link the cards that I put or that I used I got a pack of a hundred they were pretty inexpensive but they're like like ID cards basically or like key cards that you can print on but they're I don't know they're like a glossy white. I think you can get like matte white and like different colors and stuff, but I just thought, huh, white's gonna be fine. Anyway, but my project for myself will be now. So I did my rainbow. So like that's all my like plainer washi. Like there's patterns, but they're pretty, they're basic. Like there's nothing like too wild going on. I mean, there's like little bubbles and I don't know, little, little, little things, you know what I mean? 
but it's it's pretty pretty mild stuff but anyway um my thought is is that to do like more stuff in categories but i think what's up next for me is i want to do like things like this so like the multicolored stuff um but organize them by like dots or stripes or diagonals or whatever and like kind of do it that way i don't know i don't really know how to like do the rest of this but i think the like multicolored stuff is going to be like my next one which is in the other box that i showed you so yeah that's that's kind of what's going on here that is the good word from here um everyone that is following the Erin Condren saga, drama, whatever you want to call it. I am going to give you guys little updates. I still have not decided. When I decide what I'm going to do, I'll talk about it. But today, Erin uh, Condren herself released a statement saying that she was going to... Hold on. Actually, let me, let me pull up the exact quote because I, I don't want to misquote this. I got to pull up the Instagram. So this is all on the regular Erin Condren Instagram as well as Erin Condren's personal Instagram, which I have decided no longer to follow. Um, but I am following Erin Condren, the company, just FYI. It's just my own personal choice. Everybody has a choice, whether they follow things, whether they buy things, whether they decide to follow me. You know, ev everyone's got a choice here. So I'll read you guys this statement just so you know. And then um, if you want to, if you're so inclined, you can check out the Erin Condren Instagram. Or I did check their Facebook page also has the same statement. So this is from Erin Condren, the person. Um, the quote is, I love the company that I founded. I love what it has meant to our customers and the community of people who have used and loved our products. Mostly, I love the people who work there. I know how committed they are to helping people and doing good. It was hard to read the recent statement from our CEO, which, by the way, just side note, they this statement from the CEO was actually on their blog. They now thankfully have put it on Instagram and on Facebook. So it's there as well. So it's very easily accessible so you can see it. So you don't have to go to an Erin Condren blog. But anyway, sidebar, we'll get back to the statement. It was hard to read, but it's true. My decisions and my words related to my children's recent graduation event were careless and dangerous. While our intention was to recognize graduates who had had much of their senior year taken away by COVID, I fully realize the event I planned with some other parents was a mistake. And while there are a number of inaccuracies in the media coverage of this event, it was still a mistake. I also recognize now there is no way 600 black students would have been allowed to march and celebrate in the same way without masks during a, during a pandemic. That is one more example of the white privilege that has been such an unseen part of my life. The fact that I couldn't see it now before scares me. Now I see it and I am sorry. I am sorry I was oblivious to the realities that so many black Americans have been living with for so long. I wanna figure out how I can be part of the change that is needed in this country. That begins today and that is why I am going to take a leave of absence from the company. The team there is creative, passionate, diverse, and amazing, and I don't want to distract from the great work they are doing. So over the next several months, I am going to listen, think, examine, reflect, and serve however I can. I will keep you updated here on my journey. Thank you to my team, our customers, and community for listening and teaching me. So. She's taking a leave of absence. I've had so many comments today because um, I actually posted this on my Instagram stories just so people could, like I linked it so people could go and take a look if they're so interested. Um, I just want to provide information is what I'm trying to do at this point. Um, like I said, I haven't made no decisions about anything with like me personally moving forward and my channel and all of that. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and um, all of that stuff. So, anywho. She's taking a leave of absence. I've had several questions, whether it's a paid or unpaid. The information I have is information that the public has. I have zero clues. I don't know. Um, but I think it's a good move. I think this is a good first move, to be honest. Um, but we shall see. I think now I'm just going to be paying attention to what the company is going to do moving forward. You know, I 
don't need for me I don't need any other information from Aaron Condon the person I, I just really don't um, I know a lot of people and I've actually had a com good conversation with my mom about it and she's like well doesn't she run the company and I'm like no she hasn't run the company in many many years and she's like well I would have thought that she like really ran the company I'm like no nope, no nope. but I can understand where that like a normal consumer would think that a woman named Erin Condren is like making these in her basement or something and it's like that's not the case right now. It's way bigger than anybody probably ever thought it would be and she hasn't been CEO in a long time. So, but the thing is she's been the face of the company which I think has always given the impression that, you know, she runs everything which is has not been true for quite a while. So anyways, um, yeah, so that's just an update. That's where that is. Um, if you guys want like real time updates, I would highly suggest that you follow them on Instagram. Um, if you're unsure about what you want to do, that's okay. If you've decided you're no longer going to be using or buying Erin Conner products, I totally get that too. Um, I just haven't made any choices for myself and I know a lot of other, I hate the word influencer, but like influencers, um, some have said it, made their stance and said, I'm absolutely using them. Some have said, no, I'm done. And a large majority of us have been a big question mark. We are, um, when I say we, I don't really mean we, I mean me. What, what I'm struggling with now is just wanting to see the company doing better. And I don't know what that looks like. I really don't know what that looks like. So I think that um, just like moving forward, I'm just going to have to do what's best for me, whether that's seeking out other planning systems or whether it's just using what I have because it's what I have and I love it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It just, you know, I will be honest. Today is the first day that I have felt like I could maybe use some of my Erin Condren products. I wouldn't share them on social media today, let me tell you that, no. But I would feel okay like writing in a notebook today for some reason. And I think it's because of this announcement, to be honest. Because I think it's something that needed to be done probably for a while. And I think that moving forward, the like company is gonna be taking things a lot more seriously and really listening to their customers. Um, and I'm really, I'm very hopeful about that. But again, um, we're gonna have to wait and see. I don't know, but I'm gonna give you guys updates. I'm gonna let you know what's going on and I'll probably have, I don't know if there's gonna be, I don't know. I don't wanna say there's gonna be an official word, but I will probably sit down and maybe make a video or tell it in a vlog or something, like letting you know if and when I come to a decision. <laughs> I might not have a decision for months. I have no idea. So I'm just gonna keep up business as usual and just not share until I'm comfortable. And um, I hope you guys can respect that and respect any other influencers that have either walked away from the brand or is still using and sharing and loving the brand or ones that are a question mark like I am. So anyway, that's it for me at the moment. And um, yeah, so getting back to my little project here. So. Uh, this little guy, this has been so much fun. This is like a little bathroom container I got from like Bed Bath & Beyond like several years ago and I was like, this is perfect for my washi to just like throw it in there. Anyway, but I'm gonna keep going with this because I have been watching, I think I've watched a lot of YouTube today, or not YouTube, I'm sorry, uh, Netflix today. It keeps asking me if I'm still here and I'm like, it's COVID, I'm here. So anyways, um, so yeah, but I am going to keep going with my project. I've been watching Netflix and I'm watching season six. I'm on episode 11 of How to Get Away with Murder. And let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it goes up to 15 episodes. So I have a few more to go. And this one I own, I'm about halfway through. So it's getting there. Um, but I'm going to eat my popcorn and <laughs> for dinner. Because <laughs> it's like 7 o'clock right now. Um, but I'm going to have my popcorn for dinner and um, watch this and then get to, you know, making making some more cards because this is kind of fun. I really like it. So thank you to Lakin if you're watching. Thanks, Lakin, um, for the idea. I really, really like it. And, um, oh, if you guys want to know which cards I purchased, I'll copy it from my 
like what I ordered history and I'll put it in the link down below. So I'll I'll do that if you're interested in purchasing the cards. But you don't have to purchase a, I got a hundred of them, but you don't have to purchase a hundred. I think you can yeah, I think you can order like 50 of them or something too, but anyway, it's just an Amazon link. It's easy. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it today. Just a nice little one take vlog situation on a Saturday. Uh Doyle is down there. We have had a good day. Nothing too exciting on the Doyle dog front, so that's always exciting. And um, it's been kind of chilly today. Like, I have to be honest, it's been kind of cold. Um, it's actually a little bit brighter out right now, but it's been, like, dreary. And I thought it was going to rain today, but it didn't rain, like, here, here. But it was raining, like, further, like, into the city and stuff. Like, I live in a suburb on the outskirts of, like, Minneapolis, so... Um, it was raining in Minneapolis, so anyway. But it didn't rain here, so that's exciting. So anyway, yeah, I am in a jet for now, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'll talk to you on Sunday. Um, but you're seeing this on Sunday if you're watching it, um, you know, in normal vlog order. And if you're not, that's okay. That's okay. I'll just see you in the next one. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.